Keynotes provide a consistent way of annotating drawings to identify model elements, detail components, or materials. Keynotes uses tags and data from a text file associated with an element or material. A keynote is both a number and a description, and you can tag one of them or add both information in legends. The keynote text file can be made in a spreadsheet and exported to a TXT file. If a component description is modified, simply update the TXT file and reload. Open Excel and create a new spreadsheet with a list of all building components used in the project. I have already made two, so let's try to make the third one. Column A is the number, in this case the CCS code, and column B is the description. Use a hard enter to add more than one line in a cell. That means you have to press Alt and Enter. When the list is done, save the file and export the spreadsheet to a tab delimited text file. In Revit, we will now associate the Keynote data file with the project in Keynote settings. Remember that you can only have one Keynote file per project. Associating the data file with a model element can be done in more than one way. I'll show you the first method. Select a wall component Go into Edit Type. In the Keynote parameter file, you can browse the Keynote file, the TXT file, and select the building component. Click OK. Go to the view that is on the sheet, the presentation view. and click Element Keynote. Now you can choose whether to apply only the number or the text or both. Select Number Only. Now you can add the tag to the wall, method number two is where you select the keynote tag and apply the keynote tag to an undefined element. Then you can choose in the list which keynote you would like to add. Go to a section view that you would like to present on a sheet. Now let's try to tag the wall with the text description. Now we don't want to have a leader, we just want to have the text. So uncheck leader and place the tag on the wall. On the ground floor sheet plan, we would like to have a legend showing the different keynotes or building components that we have on this drawing. So go into view and Keynote Legend to create a new Keynote Legend. 
we will both have key value and keynote text in our schedule. Close it and drag it onto the sheet. Adjust it. And you can play around with the appearance of this schedule by opening the schedule. For example, we would like to have a blank line underneath every keynote. We don't want to have grid lines. If we would like to make it even more visible and readable for our readers, we can apply a normal legend on top of this. So create a new legend. Remember that the scale of the ground floor plan is 1 to 100. In the project browser, open families and find the wall, the basic wall type that we are using. That is uh, 108 millimeter brick and the 468 millimeter brick insulation and brick. Place them on top of each other. And set the detail level to fine. Select the both of them and set the host length to 1000. Close it and drag it on top of the keynote legend. While still selected, set the viewport to no title and use the arrow keys on your keyboard to maneuver the, the viewport to the right spot. And again, activate the view to place the second wall in the correct spot. As a student in Via University College, you'll have the opportunity to have this special Excel spreadsheet um, where you can add the different materials in, in one cell. Um, and then it has this macro button that will automatically create the text file.